welcome back to my channel. I'm Mika and if you're new here, I normally do vlogs, but today I am doing a comparison, a review video on loafers. And to be specific, Gucci versus Prada. Okay, I actually do own um, the Gucci Jordan loafers. I have for a few years now. I feel like I got them when I was 18 and I'm now 22. So they've held up pretty all right. Uh, these are how they look. I have these in the black color. Um, I love the gold here. Um, and then on the inside, it does say Gucci. Um, it's just black all around. The heel is very tiny, tiny, tiny. So it's just like a typical loafer. Um, and then it's very like thin leather material. like. Um, it's not chunky in any way. It does feel like second skin when you have it on. Um, I would say these are very comfortable. Um, they are true to size. I got a size, oh, it says 35 and a half in like Italian woman sizing. So I think I actually went to get a size six and then I had to exchange them because they were a little bit big. These are like handcrafted. So no one is identical. So I guess like the sizing was a little bit off, um, but yeah, I just have to size down half of the size and they fit perfect. They also do, like, they have these lines here. Um, and I do see a lot of people, like, they collapse in the back. I see a lot of people wear them like that. Um, and they just have their heel kind of on it. And they have Gucci, like, slides of the loafer material with the back gone. So, personally, I, I don't know. That's, I guess, just people's style. But I don't wear them like that at all. I just don't want to ruin this and wrinkle it so it's it's kept in pretty good shape and at one time in my life I wore these like every day I just love them they're just good slip-on shoes and I was working at a job where we kind of had to wear like black dress shoes so I was actually wearing these every day walking around and they're only like a little bit like you could like you can tell they're worn but I don't know I'm very impressed with how they've held up I just I, I really like these loafers and I just love how subtle they are like they're just black and they have the gold, so it's kind of like if you know, you know. Like if you know these are Gucci, like oh nice, or you you may not even know because it doesn't. It's not bright Gucci Gucci, you know. So I kind of like those things that it's like they're classy, they're nice, and if someone recognizes it, someone recognizes it. Um, who knows? I, yeah, I don't. I don't think these will ever go out of style. I do know at one point Gucci loafers were like the hype, they were the crave. Um, but like I said, they're just a classic standard shoe. So it's like, why would these be like out? Maybe they not might not be on trend, but come on. These are a nice pair of loafers. I love these. So I do have the black pair just because, you know, it's standard. It's nice. Um, black, like, you know, goes with everything. But if you are wanting a more bold, fun piece, they come in so many different colors. So I also have the same exact loafer, but in a fun material. It's kind of like a velvet, um, greeny blue. So is that turquoise? Um, and then it has like the pink, like it's like engraved, like the Gucci kind of logo is engraved throughout the whole loafer. Then it has this leather black um, trimming down the back. And like I said, it's the same exact loafer. So it's the exact same kind of style. And then it has the same gold album right here. But I think this is just a fun pair. It's, it's, come on, it's, it's just fun. It's like bring out my dancing shoes kind of fun. So loafers are great you can dress them up you can dress them down you can make them fun you can make them classy um so the, yeah these are like my fun little pair if i want a little pop of color and i don't want to do the all boring black loafers then i definitely bring out this one this one maybe because of the uh like suede velvet material it is a bit more structured so these ones did take me a little bit more to break in this one is actually a size 36 so yeah like even though these are the exact same loafers i guess the material is a bit different so i sized down in the black half a size um and then for these they're 36 which i'm a true like size six so in women's in like u.s sizing so i don't know these fit me even a little bit tighter than the black ones like I found on one of my feet, like my ankle, um, it was kind of like, ooh, when I'm walking for a long distance, it was feeling a little tight. I have broken these and obviously I got them the same exact day as the black one, so I've had them for many years now. Um, but yeah, this is also looks nice because they don't really look 
worn at all. This looked like I could have just taken them out of the store. So fun pair, but yeah, like it is a bit, like the sizing is true, but it's also like I would suggest trying them on just simply because literally I have the exact same shoe. One's a 36 fits me a little bit tighter. One's a 35 and a half and fits me like perfect, like second skin. So definitely would try it on, but I love these shoes. I'm never going to get rid of them. Um, I don't know, Gucci Lovers to me are just like a staple, a classic. Love having some cute little designer shoes in my closet, especially loafers. I'm just a loafer girl, you know? But yeah, no one's really talking about Gucci loafers at this time and age. It's all about the Prada loafers. So these are definitely a lot different. Although this is still black and kind of like a little staple, it's a lot chunkier. So chunky shoes are really in right now so these products would definitely be more on trend than the gucci ones since they're so tiny and like slim and seamless no these are chunky these are more of a statement piece so i really like these um so it's black throughout of course the heel is a lot more chunky a lot more thick even the sole around is super thick and chunky um the front has the prada logo you see prada right there so it's a bit more of a oh i know what these are unlike the gucci there's no like huge logo on it so if you do want a bit show more oh i'm wearing my fancy shoes this is definitely the shoe for you but if you kind of don't like when you see the brand names on it the gucci's a bit better in that sense although i do have the monogram on the other one but you don't have to do that um it does have prada written on the inside and it's just like a hard sole, like it's not like spongy at all in the inside. Um, these aren't actually mine, they're my friend Shay, my roommate. I don't think she remembers what size she got, but I know she's like a size 8, so I believe she did get a size 8 in these shoes. Um, she did mention though that the first time she wore them, she got like a huge blister on the back of her ankle. So these are shoes that you're going to want to break in. She said after the third wear, she could wear them all day, walk around a whole mall for eight hours and she's good to go. So just know maybe these are like if you first buy them and you're just going to go out and do something, maybe don't wear these shoes right away. Maybe wear them around your house a few times first because they are a shoe that needs to be broken in but she said no they're super comfortable so that's all that really matters i love a comfortable shoe and they're so cute i love the chunkiness um like again you can dress these up and dress these down i would say you could dress these down probably a bit more than the other gucci loafers just because they are just so seamless this could be like a really a, more of a fun look um, more of just a chill look. You really can do a lot with these. Um, but yeah, it's all up to your personal style. Just because things are trendy at the moment or in at the moment, you don't need to follow it. Like if you like a loafer, find what loafer works for you because you may not want to wear these in two years or you may wear these every day for the next two years and you'll love them. Or a loafer like this, you just know you're going to have in your closet for many, many years to come. And even when they do somehow ruin you're not going to mind buying them again because you just love these. So the price point, these are like designer shoes. So they're not like, you know, $200 or anything like that. I believe these Gucci loafers are like $1,100 and these Prada loafers are like $1,200 Canadian. So yeah, they are on the pricier side. But like, again, having a nice designer luxury shoe is always nice in your closet. You feel good when you're going out. And yeah, maybe you're not going to wear these shoes every second of the day. Or maybe you are. Shoes are meant to be worn, you know. So save up a little few paychecks and you can afford it. And it's not like it's not going to be worth it. Like I said, I'm 22 now. I've had these since I was 18. And I feel like they're still in pretty freaking good condition. So... It's worth it if you're looking for a loafer and you want to just maybe not get the ones from Zara because they kind of after a year they just look worn and torn. I would recommend because my sister actually did have kind of like the dupes of this and she got like, I don't know if they were Zara but they were another kind and yeah she just didn't feel that good in them. She just felt like the loafer, her it was the gaping in the sides and the back and every time she would lift her foot to do a next step in a walk her heel would be coming out. These are made to fit you very well. Like I don't have the heel coming out situation at all or or the gaping. I don't like those looks. Like, like I said, this is a seamless second skin look. So yes, the designer price 
it, it's gonna give you that designer feel when you're wearing them like I do feel like I'm wearing luxury shoes and I get lots of compliments on both and I know she's gotten lots of compliments like everyone loves this shoe at the moment so yeah I hope you guys like this review it's a little bit of a different video but I just thought to share because I know a lot of people go after designer bags first and they're like mm, I'm not really gonna bother on a shoe because I'm actually stepping on the ground but I'm here to say if you want to do it you should do it it's not gonna you're not gonna feel bad about it and you're not gonna feel like why the heck did I do it I used to wear these shoes every freaking day for my work, so it's up to you um, what you want to do, but I hope this video helped if you're looking for loafers, Gucci, I, I still support Gucci loafers 100%, I love them, I would definitely even get another pair, like I see in the like the brown, there's just like a nice brown solid color, ooh that looks good, and even the like brownish monogram one, I love that one too, um, but also this Prada, I don't know, I am a chunky shoe kind of girl, like in high school I used to always wear these chunky chunky huge gothic boots and I love them so maybe I might get a little Prada loafer next, who knows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, it means a lot, it does a lot, so just continue doing that, it makes a girl smile, if you want to make a girl smile go ahead and press all those buttons and say something. If you want another kind of review just let me know and if I maybe missed out on any kind of details that you we're looking for comment below I'll reply and let you know um, but I think I kind of covered everything um, but yeah like I said try them on first that's just kind of what I experienced I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week bye